Hampshire completed their great escape, an eight-wicket victory over Nottinghamshire on the last morning of the season at Trent Bridge, coupled with Sussex's defeat to Yorkshire, meaning that it is Hampshire who stay up in Division 1. Beating Notts was a formality really as the visitors started the final day on 89 without loss in their second innings, needing 111 more runs to win. Michael Carberry and Jimmy Adams had laid the foundations on the previous evening and the latter soon converted his overnight score of 46 into a 50, made off 81 balls with these three runs off Stuart Broad. Adams had done just what he needed to do with an innings which had included six fours. On a gorgeous late September morning, he and Carberry made sure that they didn't open the door to their hosts, whose third innings collapse had given Hampshire a chance in a game when, on the second day, they looked out of it after they'd slipped to 89 for five in reply to Nottinghamshire's 340. Only a few weeks ago, Hampshire looked dead and buried at the foot of the table, but a crucial last-ditch draw at home to Durham, when again all looked lost, gave them a newfound confidence, which was backed up with victories over Warwickshire and then Durham on the road. Hampshire were still big favourites to be relegated before this match, against a side trying to finish in second place. Now Hampshire were closing in on a famous victory. Carberry was at his 10th half century of the season with his 8th 4 taking him to his mark off 110 deliveries. He hasn't scored a single 100 this summer, but he won't have minded that one little bit. All he was concerned about right now was to take his side home and then wait for events to unfold in Leeds. And at this stage, they were unfolding rather nicely for Hampshire. Their rival Sussex five down by the time this game was wrapped up. Just 71 more runs were required when Adams was out for 70 to end an opening partnership of 129. The batsman dragging a delivery from Jake Ball back onto his stumps. And there may just have been a few nerves in the visiting dressing room when, next ball, James Vince had his stumps rearranged by the same bowler. Surely, having worked so hard to get into this position, Hampshire weren't going to let things slip. Of course not. Will Smith, who spent five seasons at Trent Bridge with Knotts and was part of the squad which won the championship title ten years ago, was soon putting back to ball to calm things down for his team. Few had given them a chance against a rampant Nottinghamshire side, which has been in wonderful form in the second half of this season. But their hopes of finishing as runners-up to Yorkshire were now fading fast. When Samit Patel was brought into the attack, Carberry now saw his chance. He came down the pitch to belt the new England man into the pavilion, and that brought the target down to just 21 runs with all the time in the world to get them. Carberry, though, was now in a hurry and he took the spinner for three more fours in the same over to make absolutely sure that there was no way back for the home team now. They will have been bitterly disappointed not to finish at home with an important win, but the story here was really all about Hampshire, who back in July, when they earned a nervy draw with Durham, were 21 points adrift of the safety line with five games to go. Indeed, they've hardly been out of the bottom two all summer long, but that wasn't going to matter soon. Smith was to be there at the end, this his final scoring shot of the season, as he finished off with an unbeaten 34, leaving it to Carberry to hit the winning run off Patel to end on 84. Hampshire had completed a remarkable turnaround in this match, winning it by eight wickets with bags of time to spare. As the batsman took in the congratulations from the Nottinghamshire fielders, it was now all about waiting to see what happened further north at the M1 in Leeds. We're delighted to win, um, put ourselves in a position that uh, could be good at the end of the day. So, you know, delighted in the change room. The boys play particularly well in this game um, and over the last period, actually. So hopefully uh, things go our way up at Headingley and, uh, and we're happy tonight. And a couple of hours later, Chris Little was LBW to Adil Rashid and Hampshire had done it. Sussex had lost and that meant that it would be them and not Hampshire who would be playing second division cricket next summer. Two points was the margin of safety in the end after the visitors took 22 to Nottinghamshire 6 after winning this match by eight wickets. Notts had to make do with third place, but given that they'd spent a short while in the relegation places themselves, that was not a bad position at all.